hey guys, I'm gonna try something. I just installed iOS 18.1 on my iPhone 15, and that gives it the new Apple intelligence features, like the fancy new Siri and all that, the writing tools, that kind of stuff. Um, but it also gives me cleanup on the Photos app. Um, I already have a cleanup tool that I use. It's called Touch Retouch. So I'm going to compare the two and see how they perform. So I've got, I'm going to, let, let's use, let's use Touch Retouch first. So I'm going to open up Touch Retouch. And I've got a photo queued up. It's a photo I took yesterday um, at the airport. This photo right here. Um, the only problem with this photo is the cowling on the engine. You can see those two polished spots. I assume they're re repair spots, so like previous repairs or something like that. But what I can do with Touch Retouch is go to Objects down here and just highlight these sections. And it goes away. I'll do it here as well. And that's it. Look at that. It looks perfect. And I, I can even go down here. I can get rid of these blemishes. This one too. Yeah, it just kind of, kind of cleans it up. I don't like that one. Let me try that again. Yeah, that's better. Let's see if I can do that too. So there you go, yeah, that fixes the image. So I'm not gonna save it, I'm gonna close out of this and go to the Photos app. Same photo. Now I'm gonna use Apple's, oh, so in Touch Retouch, it does this thing with HDR, you see how it's a lot lighter? Once I save it, it goes back to the, how it normally looks. It doesn't save it overexposed or anything like that. Um, so I'm gonna go here and try it with the new Apple intelligence cleanup stuff. So I'm gonna edit, clean up here at the bottom. Oh, preparing cleanup, okay, let's see what that does. Okay, so we're gonna go here and highlight the same things. Oh, see, I don't like how it doesn't give you a preview. I have to kind of guess where my finger is. That's not great. Uh, let me try that again. Can I just highlight it? Like, circle it? I, again? Oh, ooh. Yeah, that's not that great. Ugh. Wow. Uh, oh, oh god damn, what am I doing? Uh, so I'm trying to undo, and I don't know what's going on. Undo, redo, okay. So let's get rid of this. Okay, that, that one is okay. Can I get rid of this blemish here? No, come on, the whole thing. The whole thing. It is not great. Yeah, Touch Retouch does such a much better job. But I think this is designed for, like, I want to get rid of this cone. Okay. What, what are you doing? Undo. Undo. Let's get rid of the cone. Okay, that's not bad. Get rid of this cone. Okay, so that's what this Apple Intelligence stuff is really meant to do. So if I cancel, discard, go back to Touch Retouch, and try the same thing. So I'm going to go to Objects. Instead of Brush, I'm going to Lasso. And let's just lasso the cone.
Hmm. In that case, I think Apple Intelligence might be better at removing objects, but with the small blemishes, Touch Retouch definitely does a better job. Like, okay, let's try this cone back, back here. That's fine. I mean, that the small object, it's, yeah, that makes sense. What if I get rid of the engine? Interesting. What about here in the Photos app? Oop, oop, oop. No, <laughs> try again with the smaller area. Okay. Well, that's there. You have it. I'm still going to use touch retouch, probably for everything I need it for to fix small blemishes and things like sm just small things here and there. Um, I'll keep trying with Apple Intelligence, but I mean my workflow is already pretty solid at this point. Um, so yeah, we'll see.